and Jake is going to be playing to try to be the spoiler here. So right. Jake is playing for his 2-5. Uh, and if he wins against Elaine, it means that Elaine is not going to be getting the fourth place, and instead Kyle's going to be getting it. So, right. pretty exciting pretty uh, match to still happen to so yeah. decide who's going to be here. So, game three there with uh, Elaine versus Cody. Cody's on the play, and he turned one Ragavan, and Elaine's like, oh, crap, okay. And then Cody's going to play as percent before attack, but he decides to wait, attacks yep. Ragavan, makes the treasure, exiles the top card, it's Oko, plays the Oko, and Elaine having a long day, being tired, and she's like, all right, just, you've got this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she's, she's really not feeling well at yeah. this point, so... Uh, props to Elaine for playing this all out. Yeah. So we have Elaine casting Complicate, uh, and we have Jake over there with some Mana Birds. It looks like the uh, the, the sneak attack attempted to happen and got complicated. Oh, so. yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll do that sometimes. There's a Narset I mean, Comp gets pay one, right? Narset? Is, 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 oh, did you cast it? it. Okay. If you cast it, Not, it's three. Right. And there we have... Uh, Swords on the birds. Yep. So. Yeah, you know, losing the sneak attack. I mean, he's still got the channel, but. I mean, he's still got the natural order, too. And here's the natural order. Um, probably Primus, in the right, this is the recall in this one. Primus takes out Narset. any non land. So, yeah, it takes out Narset. Uh, Atraxa is also not terrible. Primus hits lands, too, doesn't it? Primus hits, doesn't hit creatures. Oh, sorry, non creature. You're right. right. You're yeah. right. Uh, Atraxa is pretty attractive. Yeah, uh, but Atraxa is like. I mean, she's got the swords just went. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's that new meteor one. Meteor yeah, guy. that's cute air actually, because the meteor takes out or hits Narset down to one. Exactly. So she can't activate it. Oh wow! What is this card called? It's it's uh Roxanne. Roxanne yeah, Starfall, Starfall Savant. Savant. So it makes when she enters and when she taps, it makes a meteor, a tap meteor that taps for any color, but it does two damage when it comes into play. Right. And then each of those, any mana rock she tap, he taps, taps for two. Incredibly strong, including right. all those meteors. So it re what really what was good was it took down the Narset to one, where she can activate it because the meteor hit it. So yep. it wasn't a bad play there, and it rams him a little bit. Wow. Yeah, this is a, this is a, strong, uh, a strong target to be able to find. I did yeah. not anticipate. I mean... I guess it does generate more value over time because it's over attacks. Right. Well, right now it's going to attack, yeah. and you know she's not going to be an with the forest, and it can attack her for four, and then a meteor comes in and kills Narset. Well, there's also six mana in play right now. Yeah. All right, more than oh yeah, because it could tapped. Yeah. So yeah. six. Mana. But that Mox taps for two too. Oh. And that Ruby taps for two. Yeah. So there's, so there's technically eight, eight mana in nine if he not, the land. Yeah. So that kills Narset. Meteor City here. She's just dropping stars. And then Jake cat also drilling. presumably attacked and dealt damage with four, yeah, yeah. four at her. And there's an Elder Gar Roth. All right. This feels like a scoop up for Elaine. We'll see, though. So it should be at 16. I mean, she, she does have the Wrath of the, or the Supreme Bird at main, so... But the Treachery! Oh! oh the, the Treachery, treachery is Roth. main! Uh... Let's pull up Elder Argaroth and read all of the text. When on this it one. attacks or blocks, you can make one a 3 3 beast. You can gain three life or you can draw a card. I bet this is going to make some 3 3 beast to start. Right. So Roxanne is gone? No, he's reading. He's okay. trying to decide what he wants to do here. Because he can attack into the Gargaroth and kill the Gargaroth. But with, everyone always forgets. But he'll lose Roxanne. Yeah, everyone always forgets that the Gargaroth also triggers when it blocks. Yeah. It's like incredibly powerful. All right, he's going for it. Oh, he must have attacked Narset and then used the Meteor on Narset or two or something because the Electrodes haven't changed. Yeah, I think they just didn't forgot to do it. But Oh, you think there's not... Yeah, I, I should, maybe she, she's keeping her own life on her phone. That makes sense. So, And I'm not going to ask her to switch it up. So yeah. At this point, yeah, she's keeping her own life on her phone. She's been doing it all day. So, All right, so there's Ledger Shredder. We do have three meteors. They all only have for one now. Yeah, though. yeah, we're, but you know he's still eight mana on the table now. Correct. And that's enough to cast a, an Atraxa even. Yeah, and they tap any color. Yep. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. She's good, but she's got a lot of counter magic, so. She does. A mana drain on that Atraxa would be pretty powerful right now. I mean, it's, I don't think she's got enough mana to make the mana drain of the taxes any more than you know. <laughs> the classic management problem. You, right. You cast it and then you pass the turn. Yeah. Um, she's looking at some mana there. And... Uh, yeah, that's... Ether Gusted. Main deck Ether Gust. Seems solid, man. 
everyone is learning. Yeah, there was a whole lot of green and red. Like it just it made sense, right? Like totally. And I assume it went back. Yeah, attraction went back on top. So yeah, yeah, it's coming again. All right, <laughs> he just puts it back into play. And, and counter spell. There's the counter spell. Pain three mana to do something. Okay, there's the deck. There's a duck. It's gonna take Stealing a meteor. A meteor. Yeah. It's like a mox, but it's every color. So. So she's at nineteen. Yeah, she should be lower, I think. But I mean, maybe he did attack it and do it but that way. It wouldn't surprise know. me. It, right. Maybe it's like a in case you have a removal spell or right. something. Right. Sylvan carry added. Just a lot of mana. This is the problem yeah. with if you can counter all the I mean, threats. He, he's had the, yeah, like, she's just dealt with every threat. Like, you know, he's done what his deck wants to do. Correct. It just, it's yeah. just been dealt with. Yeah, she's drawn the right combination of yeah. counter spells, kill spells, and everything else. So there's eight mana on her side now. Arbiter. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, now the hooks are in. Things are slowing down. Because the order's gone now. Yeah. And, but, I mean, at this point, he's ramping up enough. He can just cast a Primus. Right? Totally. Like, yeah. Everything but an Emrakul. Or an Ulamog, probably. Yeah. One, and now he can get pretty close to those, right? One mana away from Ulamog, yeah. Right. Also, he's not going to be drawing the extra cards, so it's not like this ledger card sure. is getting bigger. He's got to pay the three for this, but he obviously That's can, fine. so... Yeah, he's not casting two spells. The ledger shredder's not. He's not triggering the ledger on her turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, that deck Faden is going to keep rolling up, though. So yeah, certainly card quality is going up on her side. Yeah, she's been using deck to just card for her own card quality quite a bit today. Just it's really strong. Yeah, and it's it's weird to kind of for how aggressive this field is. There's not that many things pressuring planeswalkers. Yeah, Night Pack Ambusher seems wow. pretty good. Yeah, that's a that's a beating. Yeah. That's two more men off that uh circle of dreams droid though, so he can do he can Ulamog now. Definitely do that. Let's see. He's like, what's this thing do again? Makes a bunch of wolves. Yeah. You got two more turns, man. In the turn make a wolf. Two, three, three, four, five, five. six, seven. All right. Symbiosis. It's like, how much do you got? <laughs> One, two, three. Another complicate. And allure us to copy the complicate. So six men I needed to pay for it. <laughs> Lur One complicated Lurus. Oh, man. Yeah, he only had four mana, so yeah. she, had to, she had to double do it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, his deck's definitely given everything he wants, right? But, like, she's just... She has the answers. She's drawing a lot of cards and doing a lot of answers, and he's just in top deck mode, which is, you know, kind of what we Peter and I talked about in this thread. Like, the, the problem with this deck, we think, is gonna, it's just going to be running off the top of the deck a lot. Yeah, and, this is why people like blue decks, is because you get to draw cards. Yeah. And you get to filter your draws. Yeah. I mean, and even red now is getting that more that it's not always a great draw, but it's that pseudo draw, but it's still something, you know. I mean, green has plenty of draws too, but a yeah. lot of it's through creatures. Right. Like Gargaroth and stuff like that. Yeah, this is kind of what, watching a surgery happen. I mean, she's got at least two cards in hand. Like Inferno Titan seals okay here, but not even, yeah. There it is. Yeah. All right, that's game one. Uh, let's jump to the sideboards and see. See, so here's here's Jake's list. Obviously, lots of creatures. Does he even have sideboard? Uh, we don't have a sideboard listed here, but he didn't we, we can run through. Yeah. Let's see. A six corrosion climb. doesn't do anything. Thrun is pretty good. Thrun's solid. Yeah, Thrun's very good. Um, Liberator, I'm assuming sideboard doesn't really do much. Um, Night of Autumn is fine. I do not really. Shouldn't have that many artifacts. I don't think. No. I mean, it's just kind of is generic. Go back to his main, or, or, like trackers, is that main or? Trackers mania. 
Yeah, I think you would just see that one. Because even Endurance doesn't do that much. Right. Fury's in the sideboard. Is that main? Okay, yeah, it's not amazing. This is, this is... Yeah, I think it's Thrun is the big one. Yeah. Okay, so then on Elaine's side, let's see. Not you. No. Not there you. Oh. No, 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 that was her. That was Teferi, that was Mason. Yeah. Um, not you. Elaine, there we go. Okay. No, one more. Oh, sorry. The one that says Elaine. <laughs> yes. Um, right. Hydroblast. Hydroblast is very good. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's fine. I don't think it's a very good. Uh, I, Verdict rats, rats are fine. Right? Rats are fine. This card's great. Hibernation t locks down forest, right? Uh, hibernation locks down forest That's and acid rain. Forest. Acid rain is this is the matchup it's for. Actually, she Cody she with the Yavimaya, with the Yavimaya was. Sure. This is all, it's also good here. But. Yeah, because we look how many forests. I think. Hi uh, only seven. I, I think hibernation's better than that because it just locks on the dorks. Well, seven, eight, nine, ten. True, okay. Eleven. So, maybe both. Yeah. Twelve. So, twelve yeah. forests. So, hibernation locks down the dorks, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is not going to get better for, for Jake here. Yeah. His, I think his plan is to get something that slid underneath. I it. mean, basically, he's got to resolve the sneak attack. Like, if he if he resolved that attack, that quick attack, that, that game changes fundamentally. That's right, yeah. Yeah, if sneak attack was in. And Elaine successfully left the Lutri out of the deck, because yeah. that's always the hard part with those cards. Yeah, I hope we get to see an Acid Rain be good, because yeah. I've, I've never seen that happen. I didn't see it against Cody. I know, yeah, <laughs> it happened. Uh, it, Armageddon the, the table, but she had a board and he didn't. So. Yeah. That's the thing. That's, that's usually what happens for me, too. Okay. They're drawing the cards. They're all playing fast. I know Jake's, yeah. Jake says his match usually take five minutes. Right. See a mox, a dig, some lands. I think I spotted an acid rain too. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna leave. Okay, bro. I just wanted to Oh no, we don't need to do that. Oh yep, see I gotta say hello now. Alright, um, thank you guys very much. I had a blast. I had a real hoot. I hope I I Provided some you did. of entertainment. You did. No. So you were fantastic. I think your deck was better than your record. No, I think you, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I boy. Was, I don't know if it was that much better, but it was better. Oh, shit. Is this the party round? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, we, we, are, we are about to start uh, game two. Shit. I'm heading out. I assume you're not coming back to the house or anything like Correct. that. Correct. You gotta drive home. All right. I love you, buddy. Love you, bud. I can't wait to hang out the next yes. one, okay? Yep. Yeah. And then next time, All right. draft so, Friday night. Jake is mulliganing. And then we'll have energy. All right, Jake Mulligan, Elaine right. Captor right. 7. Uh, yeah, good. I got to go stand by. We got Mason hopping in here with me. <sighs> All right, guys. So we, so excited. We get to see Acid Rain be potentially maybe not terrible this game. Beautiful. I know she played it to destroy uh, a bunch of Cody's lands in her last match mm -hmm. uh, for one of her games. But, uh, and then yeah. he killed her because he had field things in play. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, acid rain exists, and also uh, hibernation is the real good card though. Like, Ooh, yeah. Dorks. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Hibernation's great. Really and it. I think she kept a hand with. I think it has an acid rain in it. For mm, okay. So I I walked away from game one. Uh, Jake looked like he took off a, a fast start. What happened? He did great. He deployed uh, a uh, the meteor chick, whatever her name is, mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. meteor cat mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and is that what he national ordered into? Yes. And it was oh, sweet, because it killed Narset, oh, and it started putting pressure on. Uh, but then she answered it. Actually, and that that pretty good. so cringe. And then he... Imagine if it was a Woodfall practice. Uh, it would have been worse. What? Come on. Uh, and then, because she put it on top. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, but then... Uh, fair, fair, fair. And then he cast a giant monster, and then she answered that. And he cast another giant monster, and she answered that. Yep. And then he yep. had nine mana and couldn't draw another yep. giant answer. So, Such sure. is the life of the ramp deck, I suppose. It huh? literally is that. He did yeah. everything you wanted to do. She just had she had him covered on every avenue. Yeah, Elaine's been doing a pretty good job of controlling the day. I mean, I think everyone kind of knew she would draft a control deck today. Mm -hmm. um, it was actually one of the reasons I didn't draft goblins, because that's a that makes sense. potentially not great matchup. Turn one channel gets shut down by turn one misdirection. Yep. Yep, which yeah, uh, I don't that's... see what he's got working in the hand there, but probably some big 10 man idiot. Uro gets resolved. Elaine doesn't have too many ways to stop that on turn two. I mean, she's got like plow and stuff like that, so. Like yeah, that one? this looks like. 
Okay. And that was off just the back of the turn one mocks, right? So if she doesn't have the mocks there, Correct. she's in pretty big trouble, but she well, does, that's... so get wrecked. Yep. There's a Rafellos. Kind, of kind of a bit of a bummer there. Rafellos mm-hmm. could do something. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, this this the first game felt like watching a surgery, and that's kind of what it feels like here, too. Sure. Or someone being clubbed to death off of a mold of five. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think a mole is the reason this is happening, though. This yeah, is this is Elaine sure. having a mox on turn one. That is a, a big portion of it. I could see if Jake has if Jake has you know two more cards in his hand and he can just start playing like five drops. Yeah, it's it's certainly a game. I mean, she has to come up with three or four removal spells or something like that. Yeah. As of right now, he maybe has like one thing he can maybe do. Yep. But no, it's attack for two. Oh, attack for two and play. Oh, no, no, no. Let's play he's, Circle Druids. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fun. Um, Elaine certainly boarded in uh, Supreme Verdict and Wrath of God, God. sure. Uh, and we and see Aether, Gust. Aether Gust. That was main deck. Promptly put on the bottom. Fun times. Oh, yeah. So there was the thing earlier about Ooh, my, that's an uh, my fairy mastermind. I don't know why there's Emmercool. He's getting shown. But there's an Emmercool. Um, oh, it's, it's showing what would have happened if the channel had resolved. Oh, okay. no, no, no. He's, uh, he's, it's a uh, Vindilly Click. Oh, oh that makes sense. So. It's She's... the C, and it's the you can keep that. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep that. It always feels good. Yeah, wow. So if uh, if Elaine didn't have the Mox on turn one, Jake would have had the turn Emrakul one. kill you on yes. turn one. A uh, bit of a bummer. And instead, Absolutely. it looks like this is going to be the fat lady singing for our boy. It does. Uh, yeah, there yeah, it is. There you go. Sorry. All right. Well, that was an exciting end to the night. So. <laughs>